What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 gameplay video brought to you by Imsys. In today's video we're going to be covering the newest update, the festive surprise, Grand Theft Auto Online version 1.21 I believe it is now, maybe 1.1 1 .1 or 2, something like that. Something with a 1, but anyway we're going to be covering the newest car that has just released a part of this festive surprise update, the Dubachi Masakura race car. Really powerful, can't wait to cover it. I'm also going to have a link on screen that should pop up right now that is going to link you to my festive update review where I actually go in depth, in detail, and cover all the new features and options that are associated with the newest updates. So let's go ahead and get into the features of this new race car. So as I stated twice now, this is a race car. It's not by any means a normal car. We're going to cover the features associated with it, but first let me tell you how to buy it. You're going to want to pull up your smartphone and visit Southern San Andreas Super Autos and go ahead and find the car that is listed as the Dubachi Masakura. Now there are two cars, two race cars that is, that were released with this update. However, I only purchased the Masakura. I have not yet purchased the other car. But for right now, we're just going to be focusing on the Masakro. The car does sell for $385,000, so it is not by any means cheap, but it is definitely well worth it if you are one of the car enthusiasts in the game. Moving on to features, this is a sports car, as I've stated before. And in addition, for those who didn't know, this is actually the second version of the same car that was previously released online. It is actually the race car version of the Dubachi Masakro, so... Essentially, on paper, they are the same car. However, the race car version does have enhanced stats, which I will be covering here in a little bit once we actually get into the comparison part. But yes, the Dubachi Masakura race car has a predecessor being the Dubachi Masakura. So pretty cool that they have two of the same cars, essentially, but one of them is slightly better. And again, we will be covering just how much different it is compared to the original version. So, one of my favorite things, a part of this new uh, car, is the fact that they have added decals. So, the livery decals that you usually see on the Sanchez bikes, they've added that to the car. And you can actually customize the colorway associated with it. So, when I first purchased the car, they didn't give you the option to choose the color. So, I was a little worried that I just spent $385,000 on a car I couldn't really customize. But lo and behold, you can actually take it into Los Santos Customs and have the colors of the decals switched to your liking. Pretty cool. It is a two-seat vehicle, but it is very fast for a two-seat car. And I think it might be one of the fastest, fast, ugh, fastest cars in its class other than the Elegy, the free car that we received a long time ago. This Dubachi Masakura race car version has a top speed of 193 miles per hour. And it goes from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. So this thing is an absolute beast. And I'm sure you guys could already put that together watching the gameplay. As promised, we're going to be doing a little stat check comparing both cars, both versions. So the non-race car version and the race car version. So that I can actually show you with numbers that the race car version is indeed different when compared to its little brother. Now this version of the race car has a speed of 8.3 on a scale of 10 compared to the original version of an 8.2 so it's definitely faster in speed by a slight increment here's where it really starts to get interesting the race car in braking scored a 3.5 compared to the original version score of 3.0 so 0.5 faster in braking and in handling, it scored a 7.9 out of the original version, 7.4. Or excuse me, I said that wrong. The original version scored a 7.4, while the new version got a 7.9 in handling. So there's definitely a difference there. And the overall score of the new race car is a 7.2. And that is definitely an improvement if you compare it to the original score of the original car, which was only a 6.9. So definitely, in numbers, there is a difference. You may not notice it, but if you definitely take the time to look up the stats on these cars, you will clearly see that there is a difference, no matter how big or small it is. 
So that's going to wrap up this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I was as, as thorough and as detailed as I could be when covering the new car, a part of the Festive Surprise DLC. Again, it's a really fun DLC and I'm pretty happy with what we received out of it, especially when considering that a majority of the items besides the car were free. So shout out to Rockstar, always hooking us up with great DLC. They just need to get on that heist DLC stat. So that is going to be the end of this review for the Dubachi Masakura race car. I hope you guys enjoyed and be on the lookout for more future videos that are related to technology, Grand Theft Auto, and other games alike. My name is Mike, aka Imsis, and we will see you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.